Welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. This video has the solutions for the official sample test conducted by TCS NQT for 2021. If you have not started your preparation for the TCS test, then this is the right moment to start it. Only 20 days to go. Give your preparation a boost with various preparation packages launched by Talent Battle. More information is available on it on the link provided in the description. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get timely updates about exam patterns, syllabus, exam dates, preparation strategies and YouTube live sessions. Also, you can join our Telegram channel for more updates. So now, let's start with solutions to the questions. One part of the sentence below may contain an error. Identify the part. If there is no error, choose no error. Okay. Suma told she would answer all the calls later. Now over here, there are two ways we can find the answer. First of all, check out the verb told. Whenever we try to use the word told, generally after told, what is being told? Okay, before that, generally the word that comes. She told that, she, uh, Suma told that she would answer. What did, he say? what did she say? She would answer all the calls later. What did she tell? She would answer calls later. So that is one way to think about it. This that is missing after told. Or the other way to think about is whenever we use the word told, okay, we are trying to tell something to someone, okay. So there has to be the other person to whom we are telling something. But over here, the other person which is there, it is missing. So instead of using told, other option can be said. Whenever we use the word said, there is no need to tell to whom we are saying anything. We just need to say that Suma said that. Or Suma said to this and this person or whatever it is. So even if we write Suma said that, that she would answer all the calls later, it is fine. But over here since told is used, generally we told we have to mention to whom Suma is telling. So that is not over there. So verb over here is in not in agreement with the rest of the part of the sentence. So error must be in part A. For the four sentence S1 to S4 paragraph below, sentences S1 and S4 are given. From the options P, Q and R, choose the appropriate sentences for S2 and S3 respectively. S1. Can we imagine carrying objects that are 10 times heavier than our own body weight? Blank, blank. S4. This is because of their small body size. It enables them to few, use fewer muscles to carry their own body and more to carry bigger loads. Now the options given over here are statement P is ants. However, are able to carry or pull objects much heavier than their own body. Statement Q is, one would assume that they have stronger muscles that enable them to have more strength than humans. Superman could prob Superman probably could, but it does not seem possible for an ordinary man to do so. If you check out the first sentence, it is talking about whether we can carry 10 times weight heavier than our own body. So after this, this immediately statement R must come. Why? Because it is talking about that ordinary man cannot do it, but Superman probably can do it. So statement 1 and statement 2 are related and they are talking about human beings. If you talk, see statement number P, uh, statement P and statement Q, they are talking about ants. Okay. If you check out over here, one would assume that they have stronger muscles that enable to have, enable them to have more strength than humans. So someone is being compared to humans. Here only ants are being introduced in all these sentences given. So they must mean ants. Okay. So only R is related to humans. So after S1, S2 comes. Next. Check out statement number 4. This is because of their small body size. Their means who? It is not humans. It is ants that they are talking about. So ants must be introduced earlier on. So it will be P statement over here. Okay. Ants must be first introduced and then only the, this Q statement can be used because it also has the word they. So they means ants. So ants are introduced over here. This is because of their, that is ants small body size. It enables them to use fewer muscles to carry their own body and more to carry bigger loads. Now, after this statement Q can come, but we are just concerned with statement 2 and statement 3. So best possible combination over here would be R and P. It cannot be P and R because after talking about our own body weight, that is humans body weight, we can't talk about ants and again switch back to what humans are doing and again switch back to what ants are doing. If we talk about Superman or humans over here, this there will talk about humans. Okay. But this there word is for ants. So P must come immediately before this word there and R must come above it. So correct option is option B R and P. 
you are going to read a text about the founding of a city. Some sentences are missing from the text. Choose from the list A to C the most appropriate sentence for each gap 1 and 2 in the text. There is one extra sentence you that you do not need to use. The woodlands were alive with color when William Penn arrived for the first time in 1682. It was late October, still the best time of the year in the Northeast. But he wasn't there to admire the countryside. Dash, that is blank. He had already given it a name, of course. It was the same name as that of one of the early Christian cities in Asia Minor, which when translated means city of brotherly love. Second blank. Penn borrowed the name from them because it suited perfectly the ideal commu community he had in mind. Now the three options given are, there was work to be done, not least finding the right spot for the city that would be the centerpiece of his new colony. B. It had been taken from by a religious group in England whose beliefs were similar to those of the Quakers for an ideal community they had hoped to establish. C. Before av arriving in America, Penn sent a letter to the Indians which he ended, I am your loving friend. Now over here if you observe this statement, but he wasn't there to admire the countryside. So he must be for something else. Okay. Then is the blank and then comes he had already given it a name. What is it? It gets introduced over here in statement number one. There was work to be done, not least finding the right spot for the city. So he is trying to establish a city already in the first sentence of the paragraph. They are uh, saying that it is about finding a city. So given, given it a name means given the city a name. So statement A will come first over here. So one first blank is A. Only one option has A as the first blank. Okay. Let's move on to the second blank and just confirm our answer. Over here, he has already, he had already given it a name. It was same name as that of one of the early Christian cities in Asia Minor, which when translated means city of brotherly love. Dash. Now over here, the name is being talked about. Okay. It is about one of the Christian cities. Okay. One of the early Christian cities. And statement B says it had been taken by a religious group in England. It again. It must be the name of the city. Fine. So over here it has been taken by the, so it has to be introduced immediately after the name of the city, which they are calling it as city of brotherly love. Okay. Uh, whose beliefs were similar to those of Quakers for an ideal community they had hoped to establish. That is the same thing that I mentioned in the last sentence that Penn wanted to develop a perfectly ideal community, which he had in mind. So statement B comes over here and is the perfect choice. So answer is option A. The following sentence pair can be revised into one better sentence. Choose the sentence that is the best revision. The bicycle tire is flat. The bicycle tire is on the bike. The bicycle tire is on the bike and the bicycle tire is flat. Okay, uh, it is fine uh, over here, but two times bicycle is being used, which is redundancy and it is not a precise and concise sentence. So this is not a good revision. It might be a grammatically correct revision, it, but it is not a good revision at all okay but uh, sort of grammatically also it is right because two times you don't ride bicycle okay you might ride bicycle tire is on the bike and it is flat okay so or, or the tire is flat you, there is no need to ride bicycle tire bicycle tire two times next the flat bicycle tire is on the bike this is a possible answer okay we'll keep market we'll see other options on the bike the bicycle tire there is flat there means a position okay if I already know uh, the tire is on the bike, there is no need to mention there again. So this is not a good revision. The bicycle tire that is flat is on the bike. This is a another good revision. So there is an option between B or D. The correct option would be much better option would be D. Okay, or much grammatically correct option would be D and not B. B is also right, but B can create a small confusion. Pay attention over here. I'll write it. I'll write the sentence. I'll write one sentence. Pay attention over here. The red bicycle tire is on the bike. Okay. The red bicycle tire is on the bike. Now over here what happens is red bicycle tire. So there are two meanings to this. Either the bicycle is red. Okay. Red is an adjective trying to describe bicycle. Or it might happen that red is an adjective that is trying to describe the bicycle tire. So red is trying to describe the tire. So we don't know what exactly red is trying to describe. Bicycle tire. Bicycle is also an adjective over here trying to talk more about the word tire. Noun. So red bicycle tire means either the bicycle is red and tire of that red bicycle or the tire itself is red. So the red tire of the bicycle. 
so bicycle red tire of the bicycle so that is going to be a problem so it creates a small confusion okay even that is right but still a much more appropriate appropriate option would be option d had it been the flat bicycle tire is on the bike what it means over here is that the bicycle is either flat okay the bicycle is flat and tire of that flat bicycle or it might happen that the bicycle tire which is there it is flat there are, so there are two meanings so a much better revision is this now it might happen that both b and d are sort of correct b has less number of words than d so d is more wordy or what i'll say is more number of words are there lesser the number of words more concise the sentence and the better is the sentence okay but just because it is less uh, it is concise or it has less number of words it does not mean that it should be grammatically uh, uh, adjustable or grammatically wrong okay so this is not that grammatically wrong this is right we can consider it it is less precise also but much more appropriate in this case would be option d the bicycle tire that is flat what is flat the tire the bicycle tire that is flat is on the bike okay read the passage carefully and answer the questions based on it in an effort to wean his son from a life of privileges and luxuries a gujarati diamond merchant and proprietor of a surat based inr 6000 crore company persuaded his son persuaded his only son to go to kochi incognito and survive on odd jobs for a week uh, for a month dravya dholakia 21 doing an mba in us and on a holiday in india arrived in kochi on june 21 with three pairs of clothes and inr 7000 that is father instructed should be used only in an emergency i gave him three conditions i told my son that he needs to work to earn his money and he couldn't work at a place for more than a week that he can't use his father's identity nor use the mobile phone nor inr 7000 taken from home for a month i wanted him to understand life and how the poor struggle to get a job and make money No university can teach you these life skills except experience," said Savji Dolekia, proprietor of Hare Krishna Diamond Exports. Dravya accepted the challenge, and it was decided that he would go to a place he was not familiar with and where the language would be new to him and search for a job. He decided to come to Kochi as he didn't know Malayalam and Hindi is not commonly spoken there," said Dolekia. For five days, I had no job or pro proper place to stay. I was frustrated as I was rejected at sixty places. I understood what is rejection and the value of a job in these few days," said Dravya, who lied to his employers that he is a class 12 student born in a poor farmer's family in Gujarat. Dravya Dholakia worked at a bakery, call center, shoe shop, and even McDonald's, earning 4,000 INR plus in a month. INR 4,000 plus in a month. I never worried about money, and here I was struggling to get a meal for INR 40. Let's see the questions on this. Before leaving for Kochi, Dravya was living a life of frustration, boredom, plenty hardship. Answer is option C. Now, uh, that is the reason why his father sent him to Kochi to understand what it means to live in hardship. Okay, so he had a very nice life, so there was no hardship. He was not. He might not be bored because of all the problems I've been taken care of. He might be living a life of fun, and there might not be any frustration because there were no problems which would cause frustration to him. Okay, so answer is option C. Dravya was given some money which he could use only when he was in extreme hardship. Yes, option A is correct. Let's see other options to buy a new mobile phone. No, to pay for his meals. No, for one month in Kochi. No. So even if he was there for one month in Kochi, the express instructions were that he, when he was in extreme hardship, then only he can use the given money. Father believed that experience is the best teacher. His son was pampered and spoiled. No, he did not believe that. Universities don't teach anything. That also he didn't believe. He just said that universities can't teach you some things. Okay, that does not mean universities don't teach anything. His son should take up of take up a job. That also is not the case over here. The correct answer is option A. Experience is the best teacher. Kochi was chosen for the experience because in Kochi, Dravya knew many people. No, had his father's friends. No, had no acquaintances. Yes. could get a job easily no he got 60 rejections so answer is option c